Hello, I'm Julia Garcia and welcome to this edition of Campus Spotlight, where you have an opportunity to see what's happening in each of our campuses. Today we're highlighting Cesar Chavez Middle School and joining us today's campus principal, Mr. Villarreal Flechevo. Thank you for having us here on your campus. Thank you for coming. Appreciate that. First, Mr. Villarreal, how do you feel to be part of Cesar Chavez Middle School? Well, I mean, uh, for me it's a privilege to, to serve as campus principal here. Uh, I've been here 11 years and uh, for me it's just a, a highlight to be able to uh, make a difference for kids, impacting them uh, academically and, uh, and in extracurricular activities as well so that we can uh, uh, point them in the right direction. I wonder what it would feel like to be like administrators in charge of the school. That would be awesome. Just imagine like us running the school. But what are we going to do all day? Have meetings? That's boring. No, not just that. We can have walkthroughs, interview kids one on one, and see what's going on in their classes other than just what's being taught. And best of all, we can have pizza parties every Friday. That would be awesome. That sounds pretty fun. Well, I'll have to think about that. But the way that you guys say it, it sounds pretty cool. Let's go. Now that we're administrators for a day, let's go check up on some of our classes. Mr. Fernandez, Ms. Aguilar, would you like to come join us? Let's start with our award-winning band. And we'll head off to the library. The band is very recognized within our district. We were the first ones to establish the jazz band. Yes, I know. We were also the school to have the most students enter the All City Band. Our students are very talented. They got first place in the Palm Bay Parade. We also brought home sweepstakes. Wow. Let's ask them some questions. Rowley, can you tell us some of the community services that band does? We have been to Leon, where we have played in front of the pre-K through fifth graders. We have done Red Ribbon Week with the whole school. Let's see, can you tell us some of the accomplishments of the band? We have, we had the first jazz band. We have, most kids go to All City. Roly, can you tell us what you look forward to for this next year? What I'm really looking forward to is All, all City and Region. So All City is just this little contest between all the little students who play their individual uh, instruments. And it's just between that little district. And Region is a much bigger scale, it's more, it's more the separate districts, the more separate districts in that area, and just the same little students who play the song, pass on to all city. Thank you guys for answering the questions. We hope to see you guys in UIL band getting first place. Speaking of UIL, let's go to Miss Aguilar's room and check out how our UIL's going. Okay. What are some of your campus goals and initiatives for this school year? Some of our campus goals will be uh, to address um, the level of reading of kids. Where are they? Where uh, should they be? Uh, so establishing goals for that, for math as well. Um, how, how effective are they in terms of answering questions? Uh, are they experiencing success or not? Uh, same thing in writing. Can they articulate themselves in, in, um, on paper just as good as they do uh, verbally? And then obviously science and, and um, and uh, social studies also are, are essential. Uh, we just want to make sure that we focus on, on those key elements that will help us as we teach the social studies and science. Now, how is your campus promoting literacy? We uh, participate in Reading Renaissance. That's our um, district initiative. And uh, we believe highly that uh, students should be reading every single day. So we constantly monitor uh, the fact that kids come into the library and they, uh, we monitor their progress. Where are they? Uh, are they increasing from one level to the next? That's what we try and just continually foster with that. We also try and send out parent links um, where the phone system that the district was able to purchase for us, uh, we try and utilize that to inform the parents that it's important for their kids to read. We see a lot of that that we're trying to promote and uh, we can't say that we're at the level that we need to be, but we're constantly pushing at that level. Let's see what our top three readers are up to. Hey guys. Hey hi. I, to get, I've heard that you guys have read over nine million words combined. How do you guys find all this time to read? Um, well, I don't really have a lot of time to read, but I'm a very fast reader, so I finish the books very quickly. What's your favorite part of the library? Um, well, the fiction novels section. Yeah, fiction novels. Yeah. I think we'd all have to agree it would be the fiction novels. What makes reading fun for you? Trying to find out um, what's going to happen at the end. 
Yeah, when like it's a mystery that keeps you going like until the very end, and then you find out, and it's like wow. Okay, thank you, girls. Keep up the good work. Ms. Aguila, how many students did you have qualified for state last year? We qualified eight students in the areas of math, number sense, uh, calculators, and science. And one of those very intelligent students, Victor Villanueva, qualified for all four events. Wow, that's unheard of. He also got first chair in Region Van. Our students also brought home the title of District Tramps for UIL. Amazing. Our school is full of talent. Aren't we the luckiest administrators in the world? We sure are, but not just for UIL and band. We also have a extraordinary theater arts group. Let's go check out those little movie stars. Everybody calm down. Mr. Santos, can you tell us what goes on during an ordinary class period? Well, every single day, I try to focus on getting my kids to be animated and uh, we work on facial expressions, getting them to express their bodies as best as possible, and we work on their voices, trying to work on different pitches, different volumes, and um, just character voice. No wonder your students are so well trained. Can you tell us how many awards you've won? Um, yeah, we've been fortunate enough to place in the top three schools in the district for UIL uh, for the last four years, and last year we were fortunate enough to be the UIL district champs. Thank you. Your observation sheet will be placed in your box. Now with this 21st century, how is your campus using technology uh, to promote learning? We do have uh, technology given to the teacher where uh, they can uh, be able to uh, utilize, uh, for example, uh, whether it's uh, activities uh, that they can draw in and pull in. Uh, it could be such things as videos that they uh, provide kids so that they can get a better understanding of what's taking place. Oftentimes we also have opportunities where we bring in some of the laptops into the classrooms so that kids can, um, for example, the science fair projects. I know uh, some of our classrooms have uh, been equipped with uh, some laptops so that kids can research. Um, and so we've seen uh, a little bit of that. Uh, we, we always would like to have much more technology, but we know that uh, we have enough to be able to still uh, keep us moving forward in the direction that we need to. Now, how do you keep the students motivated to continue learning, to continue uh, improving every day? Uh, again, a lot of it, I, I believe, stems on the teaching staff that we have. The immediate impact on education takes place immediately in the classroom. Uh, that's where the direct conversations, uh, the direct uh, activities, and, and the learning takes place then and there. So we try and provide as many helps as we can for the teaching staff, but they do a really good job in planning. Uh, to make uh, students feel engaged in the classroom. I know our teaching staff, we're, we're blessed to have them, and I know that they do a good job consistently. Today we are interviewing our SWAT club representatives and we're going to be asking them a few questions. Josiah, how much have you learned here at SWAT? I've learned a lot about stories in the Bible and how to make wise decisions, and I've developed a better relationship with the Lord. Annette, how has SWAT changed your life? Uh, it has changed my life because I, I used to be a real troublemaker when I was a kid, so ever since I joined SWAT, I've been better, and I built a stronger relationship with God. So, Mr. Espinosa, how do you prepare for every lesson? Basically, we just try to get a basic understanding to the students of what Christianity is and how they can follow their faith. And we also look at the things that they're asking. What do they want to know about God and, and their faith? Candy. Are you benefiting from SWAT? Very. I've learned a lot from the Bible, lessons of what to do and how to make wiser decisions on everyday things. Jose, same question to you. How are you benefiting from SWAT? I'm benefiting a lot. I learned a lot of good choices. I learned how to make better choices and how to understand and understand how to read the Bible more. Thank you so much for answering these questions. Um, I hope you learned a lot as well. Now, let's go speak with our student body president. Now, Lemmy, can you explain to us what you plan to do as president? Well, um, I'm planning to conduct all the meetings that we're going to have and make sure everybody attends to our meetings and they take part in every activity that we're going to do. For Christmas, we're planning to do Tim's coats. It's basically people that have coats that they don't use anymore. We give them to the needy and they drag clean it and they give it to people that don't have coats, the families that don't have coats. So it will help them, help them if they don't have any. 
And then in late February, we're gonna have beautification day. In beautification day, we're gonna plant greenery around the campus and help the environment by planting a whole bunch of stuff. And we're gonna get like stores to donate plants and help out with the environment. Thank you for sharing, it sounds good. I hope to see those things done. Today we will be interviewing our Cesar Chavez Middle School cheerleading squad. Alora, what are some of your main goals? Our main goals are to promote school spirit and develop friendships with our surrounding communities. Daisy, what events have you participated in? <laughs> we have taken part in football games, pep rallies, and visited elementary schools and performed in varsity games. Kaylee and Cassandra, how are you planning on helping the community? We are planning on, on going to the community and going to a, a center that has kids with special needs and we are planning to give them goodie bags and do uh, good activities. We are planning on collecting codes for a needy. Thank you guys for answering these questions. I can tell you guys are pumped about cheering. Senza Chavez rocks! Now college readiness, how is your campus promoting uh, college? Working on the fundamentals is key uh, to the overall success. Um, we cannot stress that enough. In high school, they're already taking college courses, and so sometimes we may say, well, you know, we're trying to get you prepared for college, and yet in the middle school level, sometimes we say that, uh, but the reality is that a lot of our kids will participate in that in 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, so in effect, we need to get them that much more prepared. So these are some steps that we're trying to, to, to move in the direction where uh, kids will be able to see the why that we're teaching uh, the content, so they'll be answering the why question, but at the same time, uh, they themselves can formulate uh, relationships between the content that may have been covered in another discipline together with their own. Speaking of education, let's see what our AVID students are up to. Yes, that's an outstanding idea. Let's see what they are doing to prepare for their future. Can you explain just a little bit about how you get college ready in AVID? Um, well, AVID, from, it teaches us organization skills, it takes, teaches us note-taking, like corner notes and like public speaking, and every Tuesday and Thursdays we have tutorials with college students, and they help us with our homework and any problems that we don't understand in class. And we also go on college tours so we can experience the different types of colleges that are available for us. Well, these students will be definitely be our future leaders. Now, how can parents come in and help uh, their students, help the students? I mean, we always welcome parents. Most recently, we had a, a series of meetings uh, this past week uh, where we invited parents to come in so that we could explain where their child uh, or children are at in terms of their academic performance. So we're trying our best to, to, to bring them in so that they can be informed, knowledgeable, and they can work in tandem with us, with the teachers, so that we can uh, help their uh, students move forward. We encourage them to uh, just be part of their, their uh, child's educational uh, system. I mean, it's important for us to uh, expand the student's knowledge, prep them for the future, but in order for us to do that, we know that we cannot do that independent of, of the parental involvement. So we know how important that is. Research supports it, and uh, our overall practices, we see that take place. So. Sounds like choirs are hurting. I can hear the great. Let's go check them out. interviewing our choir students. Tell us, how challenging is it to get first division? It's very hard to get first division. You need to work hard just and know your composer when you stand in front of the judge. What are some of the techniques that your teacher has taught you to improve your voices? Vocals and crescendos um, and sometimes staccato. From the beginning of the year till now, do you think you've improved a lot? Yes, we did a lot of competition. We did a competition, we did concerts, and we have upcoming events, so maybe improve our voices more. Many of our students received Division One, which is the highest division awarded. Wow, that's a lot of students. Great job. I hope I see you in Broadway one day. Do you hear that tapping? Yeah, let's go see what our dancers are doing. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Can you tell us a little bit about um, the, what you do here in dance? Well, in dance we have different various dances. We do jazz, we do military, we do novelty, and we do hip hop. This year we look forward to attending a competition which is called Showtime, that we could show everyone what we have and then we could improve on our skills. What does the team look forward to before competition? The team looks forward to getting their flexibility done, which will be getting their leaps leveled because that's something that the judges look forward to and also they look forward to getting their sharpness because if they have sharpness, then the dance will look clean. Thank you girls, I hope you win your competition. Now we have the Flocorico dance. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do in Flocorico? We're from CCMS Grupo Flocorico. We dance regional dances from Mexico and are very proud to share our culture with our audience. We perform at elementary community events and Flocorico competitions. Mr. Villarreal, after talking about all this band and theater arts, I would like to check up on our orchestra. Sounds like a good idea. Let's head over there. Orchestra is where all our students get to learn how to play various string instruments. We are going to begin interviewing the Cesar Chavez Middle School Orchestra. Is the violin difficult for you? No, because I've been playing it for three years and I enjoy playing my instrument. Do you enjoy playing your instrument? Yes, it is very enjoyable here, after school, at home, in concerts. It's just really fun. Why orchestra when we have so many other electives? I like orchestra because uh, I like the instruments it has. It has my favorite instrument. And uh, I really like the kind of music we play and it's really fun. What are you currently working on? Do you have any competitions or concerts coming up? Uh, yes, we've been working on patriotic music and we have a concert uh, for Veterans Day. Thank you for answering these questions and we hope to see you guys perform one day. Wow, this has been an amazing day as administrators. Yeah, uh, now back to reality. <laughs>